Now, I'm actually going to show you a couple new secrets that I have learned through multi-millionaires regarding TikTok, and it's going to be phenomenal. The second thing is how to actually save money on your taxes. And the third thing, how to start your ATM business in the next three days. Hey guys, this is Paul Alex from ATMtogether.com with my co-host, Getem Jonas, COO of ATMtogether.com. What's going on, guys? What's going on? It's, um, wait, it's Thanksgiving week. So I'm assuming people probably have their kids home from school, right? They're probably ready for a break. They need uh, some information about the ATMs right now, right? No, absolutely. So if you yep. got the whole fan band watching right now, guys, make sure to go ahead and comment where you guys are yep. actually from city, state. I mean, trust me, it is what Thanksgiving break throughout the nation right now. So we got yeah. all the families together and it's a phenomenal yeah. time to be alive. So yeah, I know I know a lot of people are traveling right now. So if you are watching this live, all right, just comment live below. We want to know where you're commenting from. Just like Paul mentioned, just put the city and state. Let's just let us know a little bit about yourselves. And if it's a replay, maybe this is Thanksgiving dinner right now. Grandma's watching. She said, hey, the family's over. You guys need to watch this replay. Then comment replay below. We want to know exactly if this is your time live right now or it's a replay because we will comment later on down the road. Okay. This also helps us with the algorithms. So just remember, guys, with Facebook, we're going to teach you a little bit about marketing today. But with Facebook, this drives the algorithms. It gets our reach out there to people that want to learn about the business. So comment below, guys. No, absolutely, guys. And guys, if you didn't check out the IG Live, the uh, special training that I did last night with Kwani Bates from Razo Bending on Instagram, make sure to tune that in. You guys can give me a follow on Instagram. That's going to be Paul Alex Espinoza with a Z at the end, guys. Paul Alex Espinoza on Instagram. Make sure to follow me. That's going to be my only Instagram profile, by the way, guys. There's a ton, a ton of scammers trying to use my profile picture, trying to sell you guys crypto, whatnot. Don't fall for that. I will never try to sell you anything. And then I will never add you and be like, hey, what's up? You want to buy some crypto? No, that's a no-go. So make sure to check out that IG Live. We talk about vending machines. We talk about the ATM business. And then we talk about some motivation, guys. So it's really good information if you guys are trying to find your why for 2023. Exactly, exactly. So, and just remember, guys, so it's no, what is it, November 22nd. So, 2022 is going to be over in just a little over a month. I know back in February, you guys are probably thinking, hey, you know what? I'm going to get my plan started. Guys, the month's about to be, actually, the year's about to be over. So, it's time to start planning for 2023. Let's keep it real, right? So, summer is going to be here quick. What's a better way to spend your summer than on a cruise in the Bahamas? Right. And this isn't some timeshare or anything like that, guys. Don't worry. Right. This isn't just a cruise, but you're actually going to be learning from multi millionaires about passive income. Okay. This is passive income for your family, for you. And we're not just talking about ATMs. We're talking about vending machines. We're talking about every single avenue you can think of. So let me see if I can share my screen here. If this sounds interesting th to you, right? learning about this in the Bahamas, comment passive income below, just so we can see. And Paul, can you enable a share screen? I want to show you guys something because yeah. there's actually something special coming up. We actually got announced, we got approached by a um, promoter and they mentioned like, hey, you know, we, we love the ATM business. Um, you're going to be perfect for our crowd if you guys can join us. So we agreed and we're actually going to be at Teach Week. Okay. It's going to be May 14th and May 18th. It's going to be a cruise, guys. Check this out. I mean, if this doesn't look fun, I don't know. I don't know about you guys. I've never been on a cruise, but this is going to be my first one. So you guys are going to catch me hitting the pool on this one. But we're going to be going from Palm Beach, or actually from uh, Palm Beach, Florida, to the Bahamas. During this cruise, multi-day, you got to think to yourself, there's going to be multiple presenters, including ourselves. We're going to be doing a live masterclass in front of over 1,000 entrepreneurs. You guys can be some of those entrepreneurs. So if you want to join us, it's going to be myself, Paul will announce a few other people that will be joining us. We're going to be talking about a few different offers that are available for you for passive income. Check it out. It's going to be teachweekinvestor.com. Again, that's teach week, just like teacher, 
teachweekinvestor.com. One of our team members will comment it in the post just so you guys can check it out, all right? Yeah, guys, make sure not to miss that one. That's going to be a really cool event. Like I said, I've never been to a business conference where it's actually on a cruise and it's heading to the Bahamas from Florida. So if you're in anywhere in Florida or anywhere in the East Coast, I mean, it's equivalent to being in the Bay Area, California, and going to Vegas. Same thing, right? So make sure that you're one, you're going to educate yourself, but then two, you're going to meet some good people. So your network is your net worth. And I know there's a lot of multimillionaires that are actually presenting where you're going to be able to pick their brain. You know, I don't know what other conference you could go to and you can actually go and have some coffee the next morning with the actual speaker, you know, or see him at the buffet line, right? That's cool. So make sure to actually check that out. It's going to be awesome. We're all going to be there. We're going to have a booth. We might even give a, a ATM or two out, you know, while we're on the cruise. So that's what I'm talking about. That's going to be cool. That's going to be cool. Yeah. I figure, I figure um, the amount of information that's going to be out there, it's going to be phenomenal, let alone the ATM business alone, right? We could, we could talk about ATMs, that whole cruise. We'll talk your ear off. But the fact that you guys are going to be yeah. learning about all these different avenues to assist you, I mean, I'm excited. And that's five months from now. So you guys got plenty of time to plan, plenty of time to get babysitters for the kids. Because I know they're watching this right now. They're like, mama, daddy, you taking me on the cruise with Paul? No, <laughs> no kids allowed, all right? <laughs> all right. So that's as far as the announcements, announcements go, guys. Now, let's get to the agenda, okay? We're going to make this a quick one because we know that it's already late in the East Coast. And we know that everybody's trying to go over there and spend time with their family. So for the agenda, we're going to be talking about digital marketing, how to scale your ATM business with your computer, guys. Okay, so I've been in digital marketing for the past two years and the ATM business for the past six years and a serial entrepreneur for past than a decade. So I have a little bit of experience, but when it comes to digital marketing, guys, I was actually able to scale quite rapidly. And I'm actually going to show you a couple of new secrets that I have learned through multi-millionaires in the consulting space regarding TikTok. And it's going to be phenomenal because uh, the reason why I tell you this is because I, myself, I, I haven't used social media in the past six, seven years. So for me to come back on the online space and come with a uh, knowledge regarding ATMs, a very simple black and white business, and create something as powerful as ATM together.com to just shows you the power of the internet and what you need to do in order to execute, in order to create another source of income. Okay. Yes, many of you might have start with just your ATM, and that might be your vehicle to get you to that entrepreneurship lifestyle. But ultimately, you could create so many different avenues just from investing into ATMs or vending or real estate or whatever your vehicle is, okay? Now, the second thing is tax secrets to keep all your ATM profits, client and tax specialist, Marco P. Paz. Now, unfortunately, Marco had a family emergency, so he was not able to make it to the live today, which is fine. I'm actually gonna cover his part, guys. I got some remarkable tax strategies, five different tips to help you in 2023 come tax time guys. And then we're gonna go ahead and uh, discuss that. And if you guys have any questions, we'll go answer it here live inside of ATM Business for Beginners. And then we're gonna go ahead and uh, discuss that. And if you guys have any questions, we'll go answer it here live inside of ATM Business for Beginners. And the third thing, how to start your ATM business the next three days. And this is gonna be very different from any other live guys, because I actually have, a lot of people ask me this, especially yesterday, they were like, Paul, do you have a Black Friday special? And I'm not going to lie, guys. Right now, we've been slammed with back-to-back -back calls. We're talking about 40-plus calls, consultation calls a day, okay? I currently had to hire uh, an additional consultant. So now we have five consultants on the phones and taking appointments and providing information and value to all of our actual potential clients and clients out there. So I've been getting hundreds and hundreds of emails saying, Paul, are you going to have a Black Friday special? You know, right now I'm trying to save up the funds, but if you have an offer or a service where I can absolutely learn everything so then I can start doing everything on my own, oh, just let me know. So Gedim and I have been brainstorming this for the past few weeks, guys. I actually invested 
about close to $4,000 now, just creating this very special page where it actually breaks down everything for you, okay? It's a page that's going to explain exactly how you, yeah, you watching right now, how you're going to be able to actually launch your ATM business in the next three days as soon as you opt into this program, okay? And this is the Black Friday special. So get them like, dude, hold it on till, till 2023 if you can. And I'm like, well, I, I don't know if I could do that because there's people that are clients of ours that have paid thousands of dollars for the same information we're going to be offering tonight at a deep discounted rate, guys. And I'm talking about it is crazy. I've never offered anything this cost effective. So you guys are in for a treat. Okay. Get them. You have anything? Oh, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. I was actually just talking to Marco. He's trying everything he can. We'll see what we can do. Well, this is what it's gonna be, guys. It's gonna be a surprise. Either way, we have some phenomenal presentation for you. Yeah. But if he can make it, man, tax professional, it's gonna be great either way. Or we'll, we'll, we'll find another time. We improvise. Yeah. E either way, guys, we got you covered. You know, um, I know Marco, he, he's trying his best right now to make it, but if he can't, it's A-OK, -okay, guys. I got you covered. I got some great Thank information, you. some motivational tips on, on top of that. So mm -hmm. you're all good, OK? That's what you came to watch the live for. Now, let's go ahead and jump into TikTok and your ATM business. Now, a prime example on um, social proof and actual clients that are using TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram right now to leverage their ATM business it is actually Andrew Francis and Derek Harris. Mm -hmm. I highly recommend that you guys actually go on the search bar inside of ATM Business for Beginners or on Facebook or on Instagram and look them up, okay? Uh, HF Visions, that is their ATM company. Phenomenal young guys. I remember I talked to them about a year and a half ago when they were still in college, guys. And I remember... These two guys, their best friends, scholars, graduated from college, and they were like, Paul, we're trying to scale this to the moon. So now they're making it happen, guys. They are making it happen, and they're going to get to that 20 location mark within no time. Right now, they are placing ATMs everywhere in their area, in their city, in their state, but they're also leveraging digital marketing to grab leads, guys. And that's where it's at. Right now, we're in 2022. We're going into 2023. When you guys look at this, cash is not going to go anywhere. Look exactly what happened with FTX, guys, okay? Ponzi scheme, it makes crypto look bad, even though crypto, it's a roller coaster ride. And crypto, it's good. Okay, it's a good currency. It's going to stick around for a long time. I've invested in crypto. Getem's invested in crypto. We've made uh, quite a bit of, you could say, coin off of crypto. So we are big believers off of the new digital currency. But we have such a strong foundation with cash that you can do everything. It's all, source, uh, it's all different sources of income, guys. Just like all my folks right now watching that are real estate investors and how we're always in the group saying, hey, ATMs is better re return on investment than real estate. It's a lot faster, which it is. But what I could tell you, all my real estate investors and real estate agents is that, hey, you guys are building equity. And I get that. Trust me, I've been buying real estate properties since the age of 22, and I'm currently 34. Every three years, I buy a new property. So I am no stranger to what you guys are doing, and I'm a big believer in diversifying your funds, guys. That's the most important thing. You can't keep all your eggs in one basket. Trust me, I've done that before when I was in my 20s. And trust me, it blew up in my face and I ended up being broke. It sucked. But hey, you live and you learn. And that's how you end up becoming a winner by your failures, okay? Because you're never going to make the same mistake again unless you're a dummy. Hey, just keeping it real. Sorry, but not sorry, right? Get them, go ahead. Yeah, that's a, it's, it's one of those things. That it's funny you mentioned that. But you got to use these tools to your advantage, right? So one of the biggest things... Paul mentioned was star clients. They're using TikTok. Before that, they're using another medium. They're adjusting with the times, guys. So what you got to look to yourself is you look at big companies, 
This is the best way I like to look at it. So you look at big companies, you got to ask yourself, what are they doing? I'm talking, when I say big, I mean big. I'm talking Coca-Cola, Pepsi, all these big name industries when you think about it, right? They're worldwide. What are they doing? How can I utilize their tools at a really small level? Because don't think you're too small to take advantage of them. So advertisements, that's another thing. So if you guys remember last week, we had one of our clients, Kurt Davis, as Paul mentioned real estate. Well, Kurt Davis happens to be in the real estate game also. Well, what he realized was ATMs were a definitely a more advantageous avenue to invest the cash flow. And he said, well, that wasn't enough for him because obviously he's an innovator. So he thought to himself, well, how can I take advantage of the systems that are already in place to scale my business? Facebook ads. Think about it. How many of you guys are aware of Facebook ads? Hands up, quick hands up, quick, quick comment below, actually. Comment below if you've actually even heard of or used a Facebook ads. Those, those reels, those little videos you see that pop up when you're scrolling through, you know, magically you and your family member, your significant other, you're talking about something and then like, we'll say Tupperware. And then all of a sudden it freaking Tupperware pops up and you're like, huh, that's, that's weird. I mean, maybe Zuckerberg was listening to me or Siri. Well, I'm telling you right now, Siri ain't that loyal. All right. So she is reporting all your information to somebody. Here's the thing, guys. There's a rule of thumb. If the product is free, like Facebook, then you might be the product, okay? So when it comes to Facebook, at the end of the day, they sell our data. Everybody knows that, that they're literally in the business of information. Nowadays, the biggest industry is information. It's not oil. It's not freaking guns. It's not anything else. It is information. That's why you have all these companies fighting for it. So why not take advantage of it? You're going to use this information to get your ATM business started. You can actually launch ads for as cheap as a few cents. How many have, have, have a few cents lying around? A quarter. I like to toss all my change. Well, you can use that money to generate the leads. And when I say leads, guys, I mean, it's a type of information. It's a, it's a actual piece of information that's of a location that's going to want an ATM. Because think about it this way. What do business owners do? They go on Facebook. So remember when I mentioned that example of you talking about Tupperware? Well, what's that business owner going to talk about? He's like, man, Jeff, where the hell? Man, we need an ATM. Guess what happens? All of a sudden, <laughs> your advertisement pops up. For example, like our clients, they have them smiling next to some ATMs. Hey, do you want a free ATM placement? We will provide the solution for your business to have cash available for you. Just like that. For that few cents that you'd have spent to upgrade your latte to a grande, you could have got an ATM at a location. Okay. So that's Facebook ads. And then there's organic advertising. Paul, you got something? Yeah. So yeah. just chime in real quick, guys. Facebook ads mm -hmm. is the way to go. So there's a free version and a paid version. Okay. The free version real quick is Facebook marketplace. It's a very good place where you guys can actually leverage by going ahead, doing a simple headline, which is going to be your hook. Your hook can be simple as, hey, free ATM for business owners. And then you can have a generic picture of either a Hyosun Halo 2 or a Genomega G2500, depending on which model you're going to actually provide. And then you can have your contact information on the body of the actual message. What's going to happen is you guys are going to literally get hundreds upon hundreds of leads coming in actually asking you for that free atm now you have to do is a what i like to call a human funnel okay because you don't have a website set up to actually do it for you you're going to do it yourself and how are you going to do it yourself you're actually going to screen the actual person that's asking you for the free atm by asking them hey what type of business do you have if they say hey i have a convenience store i have a nail salon i have a barber shop i have a dispensary Hey, you guys just hit gold. So set up that appointment, go in front of them and go ahead and pitch your ATM offer. And if you don't know your ATM offer, we're actually going to have some <laughs> a program that's super low cost yep. effective at the very end of this lesson that you need to take advantage of. Okay. Especially if you have $5,000 or less to start your ATM business. Okay. We're going to help you out tremendously for the holidays. All right. Black Friday special guys. Lastly, in the comments, I just dropped the, the um, website. It's called Udemy, and that's going to be U-D-E-M-Y.com, Udemy. 
The reason why I say Udemy is because this is for anyone that wants to do their due diligence and actually learn Facebook ads. I highly recommend that you do that because I just got a comment by Dasmin saying, so you're recommending a social media marketing agency. I'm not, I'm not recommending that whatsoever, especially not at a beginner who is not generating any revenue. Okay. All you're doing is throwing money and you're burning it, yep. not burning it in a bad way, but you're not learning anything. So you're not building an asset. The skills that you build off of these programs, off of these mentors, that is the asset that you're going to take into the real world and you're going to be able to execute and make money off of it. So when I started digital marketing, what I did is I went to the experts. I went to the experts that were scaling to multi-million dollars a year or a million dollars a month. And I learned from them. Yeah, I paid a heavy price for that. But it's all worth it, guys. You're only gonna you're only gonna get as much as you put in, okay? And it doesn't matter. You could buy a five hundred dollar course, or you could buy a ten thousand dollar course. It might give you the same results depending on what you do as far as execution, okay? Because not everybody's the same. Now, with that, <laughs> and I like what you said, Mike. Learn before you earn. That's right. Because once you learn the information and you start executing, you start earning, then you can take away the L, right? Then you start leveraging what you learn. You're learning that asset, guys, that asset that's going to be stuck in your mind. And also with marketing agencies, be very careful, okay? There's tons of people that start up a marketing agency and say, hey, I'm an expert in this. And they've only been doing it for about two months, guys. No, just because they took, they took the time to actually research themselves. I'm giving you guys gold right now. I'm giving you guys gems. Go to Udemy. You want to learn Facebook ads to scale your own ATM business, to find your clients, to direct target the actual merchants in your area because that's what Facebook allows you to do, okay? Udemy, U-D-E-M-Y.com. All right, get them. That's fire. That was... um. It's one of those things where before you outsource, sometimes you want to learn at least the basics yourself, right? That's why you guys are here. Learn the basics of the ATM business. It's the same thing with the marketing where before you hire an outside agency, take the time to learn the basics. When you're start, there's a saying, right? When you're small, start small, right? Simplicity scales. So if you start hiring this, 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 and then you outsource this and outsource that, then all of a sudden it's like you're, you're just burning a hole for your income. For that business, and you're nimble still. You're still trying to get started. So you want to stay small. So another method is organic advertising, right? Sometimes I like to call it guerrilla marketing, right? Because think about it, guys. You guys ever heard of guerrilla warfare, right? That's what marketing is at the end of the day. Everyone is fighting for attention in 2022 and beyond. There are companies paying billions and billions of dollars just to get that information. So an example of this, guys, you guys ever seen that commercial? Remember that commercial where it was... Uh, these all these different basketball players are throwing a basketball around to each other, and you just they ask you to count how many passes for the basketball, and then all of a sudden it's like, okay, cool, you got the number right, it was thirteen. But did you catch the moonwalking bear? You guys remember that where there's literally a bear dancing through the whole thing, and you realize you didn't pay attention to it, and the whole message was pay attention to bicyclists on the road. Right. So that sticks with you because it's a story. You're like, man, I remember that. I watched it a second time and I see a freaking bear doing a moonwalk, right? Like he's Michael Jackson. So it's the same thing with the ATM business. You want to catch people's attention. So you want to be creative in your advertising. Okay. So you might actually start your, your advertisement off with something small right? Some catchy <laughs> hook that catches people's attention. And then they see that like, man, that was really interesting. And then they start thinking about the message you had. And they say, hey, you know what? Jeff needed an ATM. I can refer them. Let me save that number down. I can't tell you how many times people have been referred to us, referred to me and other businesses with this method. They say, man, I was watching this. I was watching that. And then I all of a sudden you popped up and I needed you. So take advantage of that, guys. All right. Now. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Now, and another thing is digital tool, guys. So digital, digital tools, right? So how many of you guys still carry around, we'll say a notepad? 
Raise your hands in the comments. How many of you guys still carry a notepad? Anybody? Hey, well, I know hey, I when I was prospecting, man, I was taking my binder. I had my business cards in there. I had my brochures. I mean, I, I had a nice oh. leather leather folder, you know, and it looked yeah. real professional too because I also had my contracts in there. Yeah, there there was one thing in the uh, in the military they taught us, right? If you ever want to look official, you walk around with a notepad. You just you walk around like this. And people are like, man, that guy got a mission, right? <laughs> That's just how it is. I remember in law enforcement, we were taking paper reports, right? I know what you're thinking. You're like, man, paper reports. What is this, the 80s, right? What is this, uh, Die Hard 3? No, we were taking paper reports, okay? Nowadays, we upgrade it, okay? Digital, typing, right? Nowadays, I see it's on like iPads and things. Well, you have to upgrade with the times too. So you want to take advantage of digital tools. Okay. And when I say digital tools, think about it, guys. So what are some of the most common things you're seeing nowadays, especially since COVID menus disappeared? What do they do instead? QR codes. So now you got to think to yourself, how can you market within your business? Well, if you have an ATM, that's a I mean, that's a, a static advertising post. So you can put QR codes there. So if people say, hey, you want your own ATM also, put a QR code right there. Or on your business cards, because think about it, just like Paul mentioned, when he was prospecting for locations, you needed all your tools with you. Well, at a certain point, you don't have to always have your number and information on a business card. It's just too much information on there. Simplicity equals success. So what you do is you have a business card with a QR code on it. That QR code can lead to your website. So that way you don't have to have somebody type it out. You want to reduce the friction, as I say. Within business, you want to reduce the likelihood of a mistake happening. So the way you do that is QR codes. So now all they got to do is scan. They're going to have all your information. They're going to have your website on there. And they're going to have a complete, concise breakdown of what you offer. Okay. That's the same reason why people use short links also. So if you actually notice on our Facebook page, we like to keep things extremely simple for you guys because we understand we're in a mobile optimized day. What do I mean by that? Most of you guys are probably watching this on your phone. Let's keep it real. I mean, I'm rarely on my computer unless I'm typing. And nowadays there's Google Docs. You can just do it on your phone too. So you want to keep things appropriate for mobile devices, because what is that merchant going to be using? They're going to be using their phone. So when they're scrolling through the ads or when they're scrolling through reels and Instagram, trying to see maybe that new cute puppy video and they go through your advertisement, it's got to be optimized for that. There's nothing worse than being out of frame. Imagine this, they can't see your face. Got problems, right? So you got to think in the perspective of the person that's going to be watching or utilizing the tools you're using. Okay. So mobile optimize so that things like short links, things like QR codes. And then of course, if you need help and you just absolutely cannot figure it out, you can hire rights out help in the beginning, more than likely you're not going to want to, because at the end of the day, an agency is going to be expensive, especially when it comes to marketing, when it comes to digital tools like that, it's going to be, so there's different resources. Um, there's a, there's a website I like to call favor, right? That's a, <laughs> It's it's a it's a long-standing joke. I actually did not know how to pronounce it, but Fiverr, that is an online resource, guys. So if you want to make brochures, if you want to make QR codes, or if actually if you even just want to make a website, you can do it on there. And then also there's another resource. It's called Canva. C A N V A dot com. Super simple, guys. Take advantage of this. It's a free website. We are, I mean, we're not associated with it. You can make everything you need to on that website. Okay. So extremely simple. Some of the quick tips that you'll need to scale your ATM business using digital tool guys. Paul, you have anything to add? Yeah. So just to wrap it up, guys, if I was, let's say I had my first ATM installed. Okay. And I'm trying to build my brand. I'm trying to get um, basically more clients. I'm trying to get referrals, right? Because everybody gets paid for referrals, especially with whoever they get their ETMs from. You can refer uh, another client or a friend or whoever to that company, and then they'll pay you a percentage of the sale. Um, we do the same thing for our clients. Our clients know that. So we do thousands in payouts every single month, guys. Okay. Um, so 
if I was brand new and I installed my first ATM and I wanted to actually start marketing myself online, the number one social media platform right now, and it may sound silly, guys, because I know that some of you guys are my age, some are older, some are younger, TikTok. TikTok will actually get you out there. It'll get your name out there very, very fast. Something about the algorithm that I have, the personal experience of using TikTok for the past month and a half, guys, only in a month and a half, I've been able to rack up about close to 10 million views off of three wow. videos, guys, three videos. I have more videos on there, but just off of three videos, a close of 10 million views, guys. In the comments, it's just insane. It's in the thousands. So <clears throat> what I would recommend, create your TikTok first. Then you do videos just solely on TikTok. Create your IG. Now, make sure you're writing this down. This is gold, guys. And this is stuff that people pay tens of thousands of dollars like other consultants. They want this information for me. Put your IG handle on your TikTok bio. Also, hmm. it allows you to also put one URL on your TikTok bio. What you want to do is you basically want to create your own funnel from TikTok to IG. So the way you're going to execute this is on day one, create your TikTok profile, create your IG profile, make sure that everything matches up. If you're using, let's say, <clears throat> Take my name, for example, Paul Alex Espinoza. You want both social media platforms to be the exact same name, okay? Don't, don't put Paul Alex and then put uh, Alex Espinoza. People are going to get confused, okay? So make sure they both match. And then also use the same pictures. Use the same type of wording that you guys write, okay? Because everybody writes differently, okay? It's how you articulate your words. Now, once you guys have those two social media platforms connected through those links. You create your content and you guys can do three videos a week. It's not that difficult, guys. It's really not. And it's simple stuff that you guys can do. If you guys watch my videos, I'm not doing anything special. I'm literally walking up to my machine and <laughs> changing the cassette or you see me holding money and I'm like putting in a cassette. But then I break down a simple portion of what I'm doing, guys. I'm breaking down like, hey guys, did you know that you can make an X amount of money from owning one single ATM at this location? And then you can break down the math for your audience, guys. And what's gonna end up happening is, you that's watching right now, you're gonna have a different audience from me than me. You're gonna have a different audience then get them. You're going to have a different audience from every other TikToker. And now you're going to start building your tribe. Okay. And then consulting, that's what it is. You're building your community, you're building your tribe. So then once you start doing that, you start interacting within the comments on TikTok. And then once you answer people's questions, the very last thing you could tell them is like, hey, also make sure to add my IG or follow the link in the bio. What's going to end up happening, guys, is a snowball effect. You, name, you may not see the millions of views the first couple of days or the first week. No. What's going to end up happening is week after week, if you're disciplined, it starts growing and growing. And then once you're in month three, four, five, then you're going to start seeing hundreds, thousands. And you're, start gonna, you're going to start getting better on your content. And then... All the audience that follows you on TikTok, guess what? You just killed two birds with one stone, guys. You're going to be able to transition all that crowd because you're pushing them through the link. So you're going to have them add you on Instagram. So now you're starting to get busy. Now you can start doing the videos and the stories on IG. And guess what? Whether you want to refer them to whoever you're working with, whether you're an ATM together client or whoever your supplier is, whether you want to start your own brand, whether you want to start selling ATMs, it doesn't matter, guys. But I'm showing you exactly what people pay six figures, literally six figures to learn. Okay. No one else is willing to show you this for free. <laughs> I'm telling you gold right now, guys. 
it literally took me so many different programs just to learn this small, very simple uh, strategy. Okay, you're killing two birds with one stone. Hopefully, one of you guys, or multiple of you guys, or all of you guys, take this strategy that I'm teaching you right now, and you guys execute because it's going to change your life. It really is, if you have the vision to do it. Okay, all right, that's all I got from. That's it, man. We I think people are excited to figure out how they can save some money right now. It's it's the holiday season right now. It's Thanksgiving's coming up. Absolutely. Um, yep. Get him any any update with Marco. So he cannot make it, guys. Okay. Like all good. But so I know you have some tips, and I got some good yeah. stuff too. Yeah. So let's go ahead and guys, we're going to talk about five different tips for ATM business tax strategies. Okay. So if you are currently an ATM owner right now, or you're going to start your ATM business and you are excited to learn on how to actually save money on your taxes. Okay. Go ahead and comment winner. That's going to be W I N N E R comment winner guys. And what I'm going to actually do all right, is I'm going to make a special PDF and we're going to send this out to everybody who comments winner down in the comments below, blow up the algorithm. I don't want to make sure, I want to make sure that my teammates actually make sure to get this PDF to you. So comment as many times as you want, guys, blow it up for us. It helps us actually uh, get the group in front of more people on Facebook, guys, and I appreciate you, okay? So let's go ahead and get started with tax tip number one. And this is going to be very simple tax tips. And once again, guys, I am not a CPA. I'm not a tax consultant. I, I myself live in California, so I can't legally give you tax advice, but this is for educational purposes only. Take this information, go to your CPA and ask them, hey, can I do this myself? Okay. So as we all know, if you rent any business out there, Anything that you buy for your ATM business, you can actually write it off. It's for your business. It's, it's going to help you build the infrastructure. It's going to help you actually run your operation. So think about it like this. Your ATM, for example, guys, you're actually going to be able to depreciate that. Now, how much are you going to be able to depreciate that? It's going to depend on what state you're at, guys. So make sure to actually ask your CPA that. So what I would do if I was you right now and I was taking notes. ATM, and then in parentheses, depreciation, question mark, ask CPA. Hey, I'm a simple good note taker. As possible. Simple as possible. Simplicity <laughs> equals success, guys. Trust uh, high me. School when I was, here. All good. <laughs> when, when I was in investigations, okay, guys, and I had hundreds and hundreds of cases a year, all right, massive cases where I had to go to federal court, I had to go to state court, I had to deal with D, uh, district attorneys, I had to deal with federal judges, I had to deal with everybody, uh, like craziness. The simplest way I was able to remember everything, okay, because I'm not the smartest person in the world, but what I learned is keeping it simple actually helps you, okay, because you're going to remember all of this, but if you make it so complicated on the notes, you're going to be like, oh, shit, you're going to confuse yourself. That's just how it goes. Okay. So just keep it simple. All right. Anything like, let's say if you guys buy a computer, a printer, even your receipt paper to load up your ATM. Okay. That's what all write offs, guys. All right. That's as simple as it goes. Okay. Now, tax strategy part two. And this goes for anybody that has ever owned a business vehicle, guys. The mileage. Now, if you guys didn't know, you guys can actually write off, deduct your mileage and actually save some money on that gas, right? Everybody's complaining about the gas right now. So go ahead and actually look up free applications on Google to keep you, to, to help you keep your uh, track or to help you track your actual mileage on your business vehicle, guys. Okay. Simplest way you can do it, go on Google right now. And then type in application for mileage tracking. And you're going to get dozens upon dozens of results, guys. That's the simplest way I was able to do it. Get them. Do you have anything on that? Yeah. So one of the free applications is uh, Wave Apps. 
it's not necessarily going to be for mileage, but it's going to be for expenses, just like Paul mentioned. And I'm, we're all about free software. So it's Wave Apps, W-A-V, just like a Wave, Apps, A-P-P-S. And what they can do is connect to your business checking account, your personal checking account, whatever set aside for your expenses. And then they will automatically calculate your profits, your losses. It's actually pretty cool. And you see it as a visual. So that's why I always like it. So you have your dedicated business checking account. Whenever you have your expenses come out of specific accounts or add them yourself manually. And then at the end of the year, literally just provide that to your CPA. So that's one yeah. of the softwares I use. So simple. So simple. Mm -hmm. It's it's ridiculous, guys. People are like, that's it? Yeah, that's yep. it. All right. <laughs> Tax strategy number three, guys. Education. Yes. This is actually going to make you guys... Uh, especially the ones that are our current clients right now, guess what? Everything that you spent to start your ATM business as far as education-wise, if you bought into a program, if you bought into mentorship, if you bought into courses, if you bought a book, those are all write-offs, guys. It's like going to a training. It's like going to a conference. For a good example, Teach Week Investor. Imagine if you've never been to the Bahamas. Guess what? The primary reason you're, why you're going on that cruise is to educate yourself to level up for your business. So guess what? Your trip is a write-off. Phenomenal. I don't know where else you can do that, guys. So think about that, okay? Education, write-off. It's going to help you with your taxes in the long run, okay? So don't look at it as a liability because no. Remember, self-education is an asset. You're going to use that asset to generate more revenue for you and your life. All right. Exactly. Get them. You have anything on that? Yeah. I mean, you guys are going to have Thanksgiving, right? And you guys are thinking of trips. Well, you're going to actually spend money on food and you're probably going to a restaurant. Some of you guys don't make dinner at home. Well, there's a thing called the three martini tax tip, guys. Secret. This is like, I'm talking like, like literally coming closer. It's a secret guys. Like this is one of the most secret tax tips people don't even know about. You literally can spend your money on food at a restaurant and claim that on your taxes for your business, as long as it's a business meeting, right? And that's your interpretation guys, right? So if you're taking a merchant out to lunch, that's obvious. If you're taking your business partner and you guys are discussing the strategy and how you're going to prospect locations, that's another thing. If you're taking your wife out and you guys are going to be discussing on that dinner exactly how you're going to be scaling your business in 2023, I'm no tax expert, but I would use that myself as an expense for my business. So think about that right now. So now I'm not saying, you know, get some extra breadsticks at Olive Garden on me for the triple martini, right? <laughs> what I'm saying is guys, keep it, take advantage of this. And the way you do this is expenses, receipts, right? And uh, we weren't, I mean, we we're gonna touch on this in a little bit, but receipts guys, make sure you keep receipts because at the end of the day, I know it's, it's cumbersome, but that's why you take advantage of that software. Right. Either you have a dedicated business card or you use something like Wave Apps. But what you can do, like for me, if you're using anything like Apple Pay or like a credit card or a business credit card, which you should be using anyway, build your business credit. You just take a photo of that receipt right then and there or have it texted to you, take a screenshot and you save it. And that's it. And then at the end of the year, Paul, do you do the same thing? Just provide it to yeah. your tax professional. Absolutely. Um, yeah. if, for all my American Express card users, Yep. If you didn't know already, okay, American Express, when you download the application to your phone, as soon as you pay for that business expense, whether it's a lunch, a dinner, or whatever you're buying with your Amex business credit card, you're able to go ahead and actually take a photo from the application and it saves it yeah. right there and then, guys. So it's phenomenal, okay, That's if you guys point. didn't know already. Yeah. Um, and, and to piggyback on what you said, Gedim, business cards, okay? That is a form of advertising and marketing, guys. So guess mm -hmm. what is our tax strategy tip number four? All marketing and advertising, equipment, services, or offers are tax write-offs, guys. So think about what we just talked about earlier, learning how to do Facebook ads. Imagine if you spend about $15 a day on Facebook ads, okay, for 30 days. But hey, 
that ends up getting you guys some phenomenal leads, right? Now you got actual clients in your actual network. You have scaled your business and you're able to write all that off. It's phenomenal. Think about your business cards. Think about your brochures. Think about, here's one that you guys probably miss. Every single person right now that owns an ATM and has bought an LED sign for the store. That is a write-off, my friend. Stickers. Stickers is a write-off, my friend. So think about all that, guys. Marketing, advertising. Even if you were to hire a social media marketing agency, it's a write-off. Yes, guys. All of that is a write-off. Okay? Get them. Do you have anything for this before I move on to the next? I'm just trying to think of all the write-offs, man. I got, I have a notepad. I forgot to write that off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everyone's going to be going right, to the old Amazon list. <laughs> and, and the last one, okay. Tax strategy number five, deduct your professional services. That is consultants. That is your actual CPA's salary or payment that you guys pay that person to actually do your taxes. Okay. So like I said, guys, simplicity equals success. These are the simple five tips to help you within your ATM business, especially for beginners. Keep it easy. Don't overthink it, guys. And if you have any additional questions, please drop it down in the comments below. We'll be more than happy to help you, okay? Get them. Do you have anything before I go into the special Black Friday uh, program that we have for our audience? I I I would, but I already know people are going to like get really mad at me if I keep talking. So let's get into the Black Friday special, guys. I know people <laughs> okay. have been waiting for that. <laughs> All right, guys. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to do a share screen so I can show you guys exactly what we have been working on for the past few weeks. It's been in talks for a few months, but uh, it's been crazy, guys. It has been crazy. I mean, like before we even got like two minutes before we got on the live, Kenan was just like, damn, dude, I didn't realize that, you know, training, uh, you know, teammates, I don't like calling people employees, but teammates no. um, would, would it's, it's such like a big portion of management. And I was just like, yeah, man, because yeah. it's not like they're going through police academy. You're basically training them from the ground up. You're making them yeah. like, hey, hey, there's your training wheels. There's everything. <laughs> So, I mean, it takes a lot of time, guys. It takes a lot of effort. But when you're scaling, that's a good problem to have, okay? So, yeah. we're going to get you guys to that level. Now, like I said, guys, this program I'm about to show you, it is brand new. This is the first time anyone has seen it besides anyone in uh, ATM Business for Beginners, or I'm sorry, ATMtogether.com's staff, okay? So, if you guys... Want to take advantage of this? I'm telling you right now to take advantage as soon as possible because we're not going to keep this price for that long. Now, I'm not going to give you a hard deadline. I'm not like that. It's the holidays, guys. I want you to enjoy with your family. So go ahead and take the time to actually do your due diligence. Make sure you do your research. And like I said, if you want the information, to know exactly how to execute in your business, and you want to go ahead and uh, prospect, market, cold call, actually talk to the clients. You want to go out there and actually vet the ATM um, processing companies. You want to find your own ATM supplier. You want to do everything on your own, but you just want the information. We got you. Okay, this is for you. Get them. Do you have anything before I present? And I mean, in in law enforcement, there was a systemized way to learn things, right? And that's the way we made this. This is how we built the foundation for this. Cause we understand like we could just throw a lot of this around, but to make the most successful people in business, in any industry, there's always a standardized way. It's just like college, right? You get the, the undergraduate, you get the basics, and then you go specialized. So Paul's going to show you, I mean, it was a lot of brainstorming, a lot of, I mean, I think I lost all my hair from building this program guys. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so, so at least do it for me. <laughs> Just pay attention to what Paul's going to say. All right. <laughs> all right, guys, let's go ahead and execute <laughs> on this. <laughs> what are you laughing at, man? <laughs> that was, that, that was funny. All right. So, all right, guys. So welcome to ATM masterclass. All right. Now, if you guys have been a member of 
ATM Business for Beginners for the past year, you know that every single year we do a giveaway. And then this is giveaway, we do it once a year, guys, okay? But we are rolling out with an informational program just for you. If you have less than $5,000 and you want to execute the ATM business on your own, but you want the blueprint, you want all the information, you even want the contracts, we got you, okay? So make sure to actually visit this. Get them, and the teammates are actually going to drop it down in the in the comments right now, so you guys can actually have a visual of how this is going to look, guys. I'm actually going to hit that replay one more time, and I'm actually going to go ahead and play this video so you guys can actually see it for yourself here all together. And let me make sure that you guys can actually hear the the sound off of my computer. Okay, so I'm going to share the sound, and let's see. All right, that should do it. And let's go right here. Okay, cool. All right, let's do it, guys. Let me share this out. I can hear it. Perfect. Welcome to ATM Masterclass, guys. My name is Paul Alex, and I am the founder of ATMTogether.com and the creator of the ATM Automation Elite program. Now, I created the ATM Masterclass because I believe in self-education is the most important factor when it comes to becoming a world-class entrepreneur. If you didn't know about my background, I come from humble beginnings, and I was actually in law enforcement for the past seven years. As a narcotics detective in one of the most worst and dangerous cities in the United States, I knew that I would never get wealthy working a nine to five. I decided to invest into my first ever automated teller machine, which led me to scaling to 30 ATM locations and making more than what I was making at my current nine to five job. ATMs was my vehicle to financial freedom and I was able to create multiple other streams of income in the ATM industry that has made me a multimillionaire within my early 30s. If you are a nine to fiver or an inspiring entrepreneur that wants to learn the foundation of the ATM business, then the ATM Masterclass program will cover absolutely everything that you need in order to get started. We include every piece of information from creating your LLC, obtaining a business bank account, ATM placement contract templates, and how to sell your ATM offer, which is a high paying skill. With the experience of helping over 48,000 members inside of the ATM Business for Beginners Facebook group and launching another 1,500 ATM locations nationwide for my clients, I can say this with confidence, guys. Our team at ATMtogether.com is one of the best in the industry when it comes to helping entrepreneurs successfully launch their ATM business nationwide. So please take some time to check out all of the features of the ATM Masterclass program down below. And if you are ready to get started with this program, then click on any of the get started buttons below and I'll see you on the other side. All right, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed that short little video right there. But as you guys can see, Take your time, take your time to actually review absolutely everything that we have included within this program for you. We put a lot of our sweat, blood, and tears into this program, guys. And as you guys can see, we're not playing around, okay? This has absolutely everything that you need from A to Z to get started within the ATM business if you do decide to do this on your own. Now, if you do wanna take uh, advantage of the ATM automation program that we do have, I highly recommend that you guys check out atmtogether.com and actually contact one of our teammates and also get them. If you're hearing right now, if you could just drop our teammates as far as our setters down in the comments below, you can reach out to any of our ATM together teammates right now that get them's actually gonna drop in the comments guys. And you can ask them about the ATM automation program. Maybe you don't have enough time to actually build this business, but if you do have time, okay, and you wanna save a little bit of money up front, hey, I'm all down for that. Go ahead and actually take advantage of this, guys. Black Friday special. You guys are going to see the pricing on here as soon as you guys click the uh, Get Started button. And as you guys can see, we got the entire squad over here. It is a phenomenal program that we have built. You guys are going to love it, okay? So we go anywhere from step one to business startup, walk in your LLC, all of the contracts that you guys are going to need to execute on this. ATM processing, we tell you exactly how to get the bids, what to look for, all the golden gems you guys need to prepare yourself when actually asking for the right price and to make sure that you guys get the best actual deal for your money. 
And then we're going to go into prospecting locations and sales, guys, branding your company, just what we were talking about, digital marketing and actually branding yourself in person while you're in front of the client. And then we're going to go over ATM operations, guys. And just like always, we got some special goodies for you guys, okay? We have bonuses. And as you can see right here, guys, we have ATM placement contract uh, template on here that we literally paid our lawyers thousands of dollars for in the past. And we also have customized business templates to make everything absolutely easy for you. Plug and play simplicity equals success, guys. So make sure to take advantage of this, guys. As you guys can see, we put our testimonials on there from clients that are currently working with us that have executed either on their own or with our ATM automation program, guys. This is a phenomenal deal for anyone that is watching right now. You guys are going to love it. And a little bit of background on the main key teammates on ATMtogether.com, guys. And hey, hopefully this will change a few of your guys' lives. Whoever actually executes on this, hey, I know it's going to change your life. It has changed many others' lives. And for the holidays, we got a special pricing for you, okay? So I'm not even going to say it right here, but go ahead, click on the Get Started button. It's going to surprise you. You're going to be like, oh, my God, these guys are hooking us up. So it's a really good deal. And that's it. That's all I got. Get them. Do you have anything else, my friend? No, that's it. I mean, at the end of the day, take advantage. Self-paced, the first step to moving forward in any venture is education. Self-education. You have to invest in yourself. Straight up. There was a saying, right? People were willing to pay $40,000 a year for an education that will maybe make them $40,000. So you're thinking, what, four years? That's $160,000 on a college degree, debts, student loans, and you're maybe going to make $40,000 a year before taxes. When we're teaching you a cash flowing business for literally like 0.00001% of that, like, I don't know what to tell you, right? You have to invest in yourself somehow, some way. Don't get caught up in the traditional education system thinking that's the only way to profit. And there's nothing wrong with it. But remember, listen to the people's history that are talking to you at the end of the day. Yeah, very true. Very true, yeah. guys. And it's just like something I said on the IG Live with uh, Kwani Bates from Razo Vending yeah. is, hey, do you have a mentor? She says, I have many mentors. And it's, you guys need a mentor in life in order to get success faster, guys. Trust me when I tell you this from personal experience, I don't talk about hearsay. That's what they don't like in court. They actually want to hear it from your actual experience. And that's all I talk about is my experience, okay? So if I'm willing to pay $200,000 to consultants from all around the world to learn how to execute in business, Trust me, guys, you guys can invest anything to help yourself get there faster, okay? Because life is short, all right? Life is short. We only have, what, it's about to be a month exact before yeah. New Year's Eve, guys. It's crazy. 2023 is around the corner, guys. So yep. that's it. That's it. But anyways, huh. have a happy Thanksgiving, guys. If I don't talk yep. to you by, by, yeah, no, next Tuesday, that's going to be after Thanksgiving. So yeah. So have a happy Thanksgiving. Say what's up to the family for me. And then uh, other than that, guys, my name is Paul Alex, founder of ATMtogether.com. I will be talking to you guys next week. And sure. Get them, Yona, C-O-O-A-T-M-Together.com. Hug your family. Enjoy the holidays, guys. Bye.